Villemont, are you there? Huh? Oh, it's you guys. Wait, what's Lady Farina doing here? I can explain. We've been rounding up the whole troop. We now have everyone except you. So, you think knowing the truth about the director's disappearance will help you write an ending to the script that pleases everyone? <sighs> I care just as much as everyone else about making the little Oceanid a success. That's why I wanted to wait until after the show. If I open this can of worms now, I, I just don't want to make things difficult between us. We're supposed to be a unit when we're on stage. The Amal, avoiding the truth will not help anyone. Unless you mean to suggest that O'Reilly's death had something to do with you. I don't want to talk about it. Listen, Vimal. I used to think that my love for O'Reilly was a point of shame. I never brought it up to anyone. But now, I've made up my mind to put it all on the table. I'm prepared to face everything, to sacrifice everything for the sake of the show. The little Oceanid cannot be complete unless we do justice to O'Reilly on an emotional level. This is why people think of you as not being the smart one. <laughs> as you all know already, the troupe was kept afloat not from ticket sales, but donations from the audience. Of course, that was nowhere near enough. We took on side jobs when we weren't performing, but even then, the troupe's financial situation was pretty dire. So, anyway... One day after a show, a merchant came to me and offered us a huge sponsorship. In return, we just had to provide the audience with their drinks during performances. It seemed like a win-win, so I said yes to it on the spot without consulting the director. It was only when the merchant came to deliver the goods that I realized... The drink in question was synth. <sighs> Isn't that the drink paddled by the culprit behind the serial disappearances case? I, I freaked out when I saw the boxes. And I told the director everything right away. She was completely shocked as well. But she didn't reprimand me for making the decision without consulting her. Instead, she contacted the merchant and stated that the troupe could not agree to this collaboration. The merchant was furious, berated us for going back on our word, and threatened to sue us for damages. The amount was astronomical. There was no way we'd be able to pay. <laughs> and then... I was going to sort it on my own, but the director stopped me. She said that this was an issue for the whole troop, and it wasn't my fault. But things only got worse from there. The synth merchant just wouldn't let up, and then suddenly the director told us all to leave the city one day. I knew then that things must have reached a boiling point. I admit this whole thing was my mistake. I didn't dare to tell any of you the truth back then, and after the director disappeared, I was even more afraid to say anything. Yeah, I got Aureli killed. There, I said it. Happy now? Hey, don't say that. You traitor! You knew Aureli was in danger. Why in God's name didn't you tell us? What do you mean you were afraid? This was a life and death situation. We could have saved her. How could you be so stupid? Please, try not to get too worked up. Yeah, listen to him. You need to stay calm.
Stay calm? How can I stay calm? This guy got all really murdered. She was the love of my life. And he has the gall to try and high-road us, claiming that he kept his mouth shut for the sake of the show. How about taking some responsibility for what he's done? All I can say is I'm sorry. Truly. I wanted to apologize to everyone in the troupe, but that won't bring back the director. What good is my apology now? I'm just a coward who made an awful, terrible mistake that I can never take back. Beat me up if you want. Kill me if you prefer. It's what I deserve. End my life so I can meet the director and apologize to her in person. Get out of my sight! Go! Get lost! I don't ever want to see your face again! <laughs>